Good morning. So I'm over here at the Calio uh, laundromat. And uh, of course people come here to get their clothes clean. And it makes me think of 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, where we're told that if we confess our sins to God, that he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Well, I have to admit that I, like many Christians, want God's forgiveness, but not so much his cleansing. Because we just basically want to be off the hook of our sin, not to have to pay the consequences of it, but not to have God wash our lives, to cleanse us of these things that are hurting us and stealing our joy. I want to emphasize to you and to myself that this is the full mercy of God and forgiveness, not just to forgive us, but to wash us clean. There are things in your life that the Lord may have forgiven he opens the door in Jesus Christ to a new relationship with him and not holding these things against you. But that forgiveness comes full circle. It's fulfilled when you allow him into your heart and into your life to deal with these things. Maybe it's a specific habit you have or a resentment or uh, something in your thought life that you've been entertaining. You know it's wrong. Let God cleanse you, uh, wash these things from your life as you submit them to him. So when you ask God to forgive you, ask yourself, do I just want forgiveness or do I want to be clean? Will I let God in to wash me whiter than snow? Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would please not only forgive my sins, but cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And I, I know that will take a lifetime for some things. I know it may take weeks or days for others. But Lord, I give the habits and thoughts and actions of my life to you, not only to forgive, but to wash and clean. Christ, we pray. Amen.